Ah, good morning guys. My name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctivet YouTube channel. Today I got something special for you. We're back. Roll that intro. So we heard the chickens and well, we're checking out the chickens because we have a little critter that's been getting, getting the eggs. And that little critter happens to be a skunk. Well, that's why. I don't know if you guys can see him. There's a little skunk right there. And so what it did is it dug a hole right inside of there and got into our chickens. So, little skunky skunk, come here buddy. <laughs> As if he's getting out of that little cage. He's caught. Yeah. Man. <laughs> How cool. He's looking right at the GoPro. <laughs> like I'm within a foot of him. Huh? I'm within a foot of him because he can't really see me. Alright, so we're done with that exciting uh, moment there with a skunk. <laughs> Anyways, what I really want to tell you guys today is that I'm, I'm starting to feel better and I'm going to get back into recording and bringing vlogs back in. I hope that you guys have been watching and viewing our shorts. They're from past videos, but I think, you know, there's over 800 videos out there on our channel and I think there's some good gems that could become shorts and it's, it's proof it's working. We're gaining subs and we're gaining views and some of these some of these shorts are flops and some of them I wait I, sh I should call them capris and some of them come out full shorts like they're great they blow up and and it's fun it's it's really cool so uh, anyways in other news getting better car parts here I'm gonna be installing that in the Corvette very very soon we have some pumpkins to carve and then it's off for the weekend um for halloween oh i better mute that there we go no copyright infringement <clears throat> and also for those that are into runescape i play runescape and I'm almost to 99 archaeology. I'm going to get there really soon. So I'm, I'm trying to knock part of that out tonight. Might get it tonight. If I do, I'll record it and have it in, a, in another video. That would be pretty fun. Anyways, I'm just going to finish off reading the day-by-day -day devotion um, for dads. And today is hold tight, hold loose. A man can receive nothing less unless it has been given, given him from heaven. It's really confusing. John 3:27. What's yours? What do you really own? I've got news for you. Your house, car, laptop, guitar, giant screen TV, leather jacket, credit cards, yacht, hammock, workbench, iPhone, baseball glove, and favorite coffee mug are not yours. Whether you believe in God or not, those things are on loan to you from him. Knowing you really don't own any of that stuff should help you hold it loosely. Be generous. Covet not. Don't waste your life gathering more and more worldly possessions. It can all be taken away from you in an instant. I've got more news for you. Your kids are also not yours. Knowing that you really don't own your children, you you should help should help you also hold on to them loosely 
and tightly. Grasp them close with everlasting hugs, endless hours of engaging conversations, and permanent connections between your world and theirs, while simultaneously letting them go. Pray, pray them over to God. Trust God so much that you stop forcing your plan onto your children's lives and surrender to His. Heaven has given you great gifts. The best thing you can do is say thanks and then give it right back. What about you? What do you cherish? What are you holding on to most tightly? Your job title? Your hobby? Your gym membership? Your TV remote? Your sex life? Your 401k? Your status in the community or even at church? Your kids' status and accomplishment? Instead, instead cherish things that are eternal and I really like that one because there's a lot <coughs> there's a lot of truth to it if you guys if you're parents you may understand and if you're not you could understand still too um, ha having kids and having a dream for your kids like there's there's nothing wrong with it but the thing is is that God created your child for a very specific reason and it's our job to figure out what that gift that God blessed them with is and how to help them flourish how to help them grow with it and get better at it so that they can go out and do God's work as well and that's something that took me a while to figure out and once I did it was like you know what hey you're really good at this you ought to, you ought to keep going at it and it stopped being more of, well, dad thinks you ought to do this. Dad thinks this, you know. It started being less of that and like, all right, Adi, what's, what's something you, you are really, really good at? Well, he's got a few things. And so we're still determining. Riley, he, he also has many things. He's very smart. But he, works, he likes to work alone. Not necessarily a, a big group guy. Cohen, on the other hand, loves anybody and everybody. Still, still working on trying to figure out what what the gifts are and where they're gonna end up with them. But the key is that they know God a lot better earlier on in their lives than I did as a kid. I know I knew God as a kid, but I didn't know him to the extent that my kids know him. And that makes me happy. That makes me feel like good as a parent that I am doing God's work through with my children. And and that that just it's amazing. So anyways, thank you guys so much for sticking around. I do apologize for not having any videos, but I I've been I've been doing the best that I can while being sick and you know life happens gets us down sometimes but we gotta get right back up and this is us getting right back up grabbing that camera showing you a fun skunk and talking about god so smash that subscribe button don't forget to tell three of your friends or five see i gotta count five not four <laughs> and we will catch you in the next video have a great night and god bless <laughs> look forward to some fortnite streams what don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true Just gotta fix in view, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ